Hello everyone, Maddie here and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am actually going to be giving you a my library tour. So the reason why I say library is because this room actually is a library. I have almost 600 books and I know that a lot of other booktubers like to give a little tour of their of their bookshelves of their libraries and I really want to kind of show off um, my library not only because I want to get I want you guys to see what kind of books that I own but also because I want you to see the progress of the room. So the room's actually not complete. Um, it, it's looked for the most part like this for a while and uh, my, my fiance and I finally decided that we're going to actually fix it up. We're going to patch up some holes, we're going to uh, redecorate a little bit, but more importantly we're going to be getting rid of our bookshelves and actually having uh, uh, wall shelves. So the every wall is going to be filled with shelves and books. And trust me, I have quite a few, so it, it will work. But um, yeah, so I thought I would give you kind of a first look of what the library looks like now, and then over the course of several vlogs you'll see uh, the progress of the library and maybe I'll give an updated tour, updated video once that's done. All right, so the first thing I want to show is what the library looks like. Um, so this is the entrance, as you can see. It's like a nice wooden door. Um, the first thing you notice is the chair that I record in. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos. You'll also notice that there is a TBR shelf and my fiance actually made that little hauled books um, vinyl. It's really cute. So this is where my this is where my hauled books are. Um, as you can see I have over full <laughs> overfill. Um, that's a jug of water for my plants. Um, right now on the wall I actually have the score sheet and information for whatever a thon. Um, that's what I'm currently doing at the moment. It'll be fun to kind of look back at this um, at this video to see that. And then we have one of my bookshelves right now. Um, have like a little tea, red tea kettle. I have some uh, lanyards from a bunch of conventions that me and my uh, fiance have gone to. Um, and like back down here there's there's more. Um, you'll see those in a little bit. Uh, this corner is empty at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a mess but there's like a there's like a little table there, right, right, right there, and there's some pictures of my parents on the right and my grandparents on the left. I, I like to have pictures of them. Uh, over here, we have um, right there is a picture of um, my character, my D and D character from my previous campaign. We just finished that ca campaign a few months ago, um, which was kind of sad. But uh, the DM actually commissioned artwork for all our characters, and this is—it's so beautiful. Like I, I love that artwork. I actually want to hang it up on the wall at some point, but right now I'm just kind of chilling on top. Um, yeah, and then this is my Stephen King bookshelf. I say Stephen King bookshelf because like that's all, that's all I have on this shelf, <laughs> this whole shelf. And uh, I have a Stephen King pop figure, of course. I want to get some uh, Pennywise at, at some point. Uh, so right here, um, this lamp probably won't stay. I don't know yet. Got a window. I got my uh, TBR books. I always like to keep them on the top shelf of of this um, fireplace. I have this coffee mug that I'm actually going to start. Um, you're going to actually see that coming up soon in my TBR videos. I won't go into detail about it, but it's a cute little, cute little Sheltie mug. Uh, and then one of my favorite plants. You probably have seen this, or we'll see it in the future. I love this plant. I don't remember what kind of plant it is. Uh, and then I have fireplace. Uh, just some books on the on the ground. Oh, and poof. Love this poof. Sit on it. Put my legs on it. All right. So then we have two more bookshelves. Uh, don't mind all of the alcohol bottles. Um, that's actually well, I'm probably gonna be getting rid of a few of them. But we wanted to keep some of the like local vineyard bottles, and so there's there's a couple on top there, and then there's some like absolute and you know Jack. Uh, don't don't mind the uh, creepy. The, the creepy doll in the corner. Um, he's he's an inside joke. Uh, so then we have a few more. Like uh, I have a lot of knickknacks on my shelves, and I'm definitely going to like move them at some point. But I like kind of the cluttered look. But there's just some more some more books along this shelf. Pretty full. And then again, more books. And in that corner back here is actually a bunch of books that I'm going to unhaul at some point. There's some James Patterson, a couple other books that I don't want anymore. Uh, just some pillows in the corner. Um, this right here is my favorite chair 
in the entire room is very comfortable. It's a love seat from my old uh, living room uh, selection. And uh, it's just so comfortable. And then this is a really nice chest table that my fiance has had in his family for a long time. Um, so we use that as like kind of the coffee table. We store some stuff in it. Really love it. Got some small bean bags. Got the uh, lamp right here. As you can see, there's like some some holes that we need to patch, and we're gonna be filling up these whole walls with um, with shelves, like I mentioned. Um, there's this like really old lamp that we had hanging on the ceiling that I'm definitely going to have hanging on the ceiling again. And uh, my cute little fox. And then this bookshelf is all manga. As you can see, I have quite a quite a good selection. And they have some books kind of on the floor here. They're like kind of classic old books. Uh, they're gonna go in a special place once I have that done. And then this is the most work in progress spot in the whole room. This used to be the closet. Um, this actually, this whole room used to be my old bedroom. Um, I've lived in the house for quite a long time before I bought it. So this used to be the closet. And as you can see, it needs a lot of work. I need to repaint it, patch some holes. But I'm actually gonna turn this into the classic library slash tea nook area. Um, so I'm going to have some shelves right here on the wall. I'm going to probably have like a fake plant right in this corner. And then this is going to stay here, like maybe shift it over a little bit. And it's going to have like the really, really old books inside of it. And it's going to look, I think it's going to look really neat. Um, yeah, you can see like we have like the paint and stuff supplies right there. Um, and then I have my studio light uh, for, for recording and obviously the tripod. Uh, yeah, so that's the that's the tour of the of what the library looks like. Um, again, the reason why I wanted to kind of show you what the library looks like now is because it's going to change. I'm hoping that we're going to make a lot of progress over the next while. Okay, so the first area I wanted to go over with books is my hauled books. Um, I'll actually go in more detail about these in a separate video, uh, but I thought I'd just go ahead and run through um, the books real quick. And I will I will mention. I am not going to go in detail with these books because this video would be way too long if I did. So I'm just going to tell you the, I'm just going to show you the book, show you, uh, tell you who the author is and what the title of the book is. Um, so the first book here is Christopher Paul Paolini's To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. I'm very excited about. Then we have uh, Ninth House by Leigh Bardugu. Then we have The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. Parasite by Darcy Coates. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkins. The Butterfly Lampshade by Amy Bender. The Authenticity Project by Claire Poli. I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lahoon. In Cold Blood by Truman Capu. The Water Dancer by Tanasi Coates. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Tweet Cube by Emma Lord. The Raven by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. The Glittering Hour by Iona Gray. The Difference Engine by William Gibson Bruce Sterling. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hartcastle. Eight Perfect Murders by Peter, Peter Swanson. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Becoming by Michelle Obama. A Promised Land by Barack Obama. Wind Witch by Susan Zenard. Blood Witch by Susan Zenard. Truly Devious by M Maureen Johnson. The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Liu. Too Good to Be True by Carla Lovering. And this is actually one of the first uh, Book of the Month books in this area. A signed copy of Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertali and Aisha Saeed. Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Italia Hibbert. Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. The Night and Gale by Kristen Hanna. Dear Edward by Anne Nepo Napolitano. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. Another Book of the Month, What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins. Send Lynn Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. The Lady from the Black Lagoon by Mallory O'Mara. And I'm actually really happy I have this because it's actually uh, the book that Mallory O'Mara from um, the podcast that I listen to, um, what's it called? I'll, I'll, I'll link it in the description. Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey N Niffenegger. The Girl Who Played with Fire by Stieg Larsson. Another Book of the Month, Ari Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. Hail Mary by Andy Weir. 
The Dark Vault by Victoria Schwab, Love Sickness by Junji Ito, In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens, The Book of Dreams by Nina George, Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, As Far As You'll Take Me by Phil Stamper, The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell, A Column of Fire by Ken Follett, Lady in the Lake by Laura Lipman, Cemetery Road by Greg Illis, Judgment by Joseph Finder, Twisted Prey by John Sanford, The Oysterville Sewing Circle by Susan Wiggs, The Crooked Staircase by Dean Coons, and finally Dragon Mark by Sherilyn Kenyon. Okay, that is all of the books from my hauled books cart. And now we're going moving on to this bookshelf, which is right behind my uh, ch recording chair. Um, on the top shelf, I have my Anne Rice books. We have The Tale of the Body Thief by Anne Rice, Queen of the Damned, The Vampire Lestet, Interview with the Vampire, Memmuch the Devil, Merrick, Servant of the Bones, Blood, Blood, to, Blood and Gold, Blackwood Farm, we have the um, Beauty and the Beast trilogy, the The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty, Beauty's Queen Hamnet, and Beauty's Release. We have Pandora, Taltos, The Witching Hour, Let Lasher, Vitaro the Vampire, Exit to Eden, Angel Time, Blood and Gold, Cry to Heaven, Christ the Lord, The Road to Cana, the Feast of the Saints, and Belinda. And those are all of my Anne Rice books. So if you look over to the next shelf, I have um, most of the shelf from these next two rows are actually tour novels. I tried to keep them as organized as I can. Uh, so we start off with the Wind, the Eye of the World series. So we have by Robert Jordan. So we have the Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Fires of Heaven, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Swords, The Path of Daggers. Um, there is a few of those of that series that I still do not have. And then we move on to um, Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game. I actually have two copies of that because one of them is my fiance's. And then we have continuing that series, Speaker for the Dead, Xenocide, Children of the Mind, Ender's Shadow, Shadow of the Hegemon, Shadows. Yeah, Shadows Puppets, Shadow of the Giant, and then we have one book from Brandon Sanderson right here, which is Mistborn. So there are there are more um, Orson Scott Card books, but I do not own them yet. And then that actually is the only Mistborn book that I have, although I am planning on getting more of them. And then moving on to this shelf, we just have a few other tour. We just have a few other tour books. We have The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. This, this Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, which is part of the um, Monsters of Verity duology. And then I don't have the first book on the shelf right now, but I do have it. It's Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light, which is part of a trilogy by V. Schwab. And then uh, V. Schwab's new book, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And then over here is actually different. So these are actually just local authors. Um, these are all books that were written within a 30 mile radius of uh, where I live. I'll actually go ahead and show you. Six Weeks by Jessica L. DeGarmo. Jason and the Dragonauts by Paul D. Smith. The Throne of the Amicar by Joshua Palmentier. Whisper and the Depths by C.W. Breyer. The Winter Sun the, from the Vagrant Fay Saga by Megan J. Parker and Nathan Squires. The Ramblings of the Lonely Stranger, Poetry by J.H. Monroe, and Wired by Caitlin Brook. And then I also have some books from C.J. Henderson. So we have as, uh, Watching TV, The Things That Are Not There, Brooklyn Night, and The Tales of Inspector Legros, which is actually co-written co with C.J. Uh, Henderson and H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, this next shelf, uh, we have a few different fantasy books. We have uh, a few books from Cassandra Clare. So we have the Dark Art Artifacts 1, 2, and 3. So Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and The Queen of Air and Darkness. Then we have a few novels from R.A. Salvatore, uh, part of The Legend of Dritz. Um, series. So I believe that that has uh, books one through 
Books 1 through 11 because right there you can see that there is book 11 on the left. And then we have the Game of Thrones series, um, a, Ga a Game of Thrones, A Feast of Crows, A Storm of Swords, The Clash of Kings, A Dance of Dragons, and then I also own Fire and Blood. Um, there is one other George R. R. Martin book that is out there. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but I do not own that. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. There are two more shelves from that one bookshelf, but it's kind of hard to get to at the moment, so I will I will uh, tell you those books a little later in the video. But now we're going to move on to my Stephen King bookshelf. I do say Stephen King bookshelf because it fills the entire bookshelf. Okay, so first off, we have a bunch of paperbacks that um, some of them I had actually bought used at used bookstores. We have Pet Cemetery from a Buick 8. Four Past Midnight, The Shining, Bag of Bones, The Mist, Dolores uh, Claiborne, Cujo, Just After Sunset, Lizzie's Story, Dreamcatcher, Firestarter, Christine, Night Shift, Black House, which was co-written with Peter Straub, Misery, Gerald's Game, Cell, Skeleton Crew, Carrie, Rose Mater, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, and The Dead Zone. Then on shelf number two, we have some more paperbacks. We have Different Seasons, On Writing, Blaze, which is actually one of Richard Bachman's books, Road Work for the same, Thinner, The Dark Half, The Eyes of the Dragon, The Stand, The Talisman, It, Hearts in Atlantis, Insomnia, Everything's Eventual, and then we have the Dark Tower series, which is The Gunslinger, The Drawing of the Three, The Wastelands, Wizard and Glass, Wolves of the Kala, Song of Susanna, and The Dark Tower. Then on shelf number three, we start getting into some paperbacks and also some hardcovers. So there's Charlie the Choo Choo by Beryl Evans, which is actually referenced in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. We have Dan's Macabre, Joyland, The Colorado Kid, Later. All, all three of those are hard case novels. Gwendy's Button Box, which is co-written with Richard uh, Ch Chisimar. Elevation, Apt Pupil, then we have uh, the Bachman books for early novels, Stephen King's The Green Mile, From a Buick 8, Storm of the Century, Needful Things, The Tommyknockers, Nightmares and Dreamstakes, and Salem's Lot. Okay, then on to shelf number four, we have The Regulators from Richard Bachman, Desperation by Stephen King, uh, another version of Black House, which is the hardcover, Doma Key, Under the Dome, Full Dark No Stars, 112263, the Wind Through the Keyhole, which is actually a book from the Dark Tower series. Do Doctor Sleep, Revival, the Mr. Mercedes trilogy of Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch. On shelf number five, we have The Bizarre of Bad Dreams, Sleeping Beauties, a co in with Owen King, The Outsider, The Institute, and If It Bleeds. Okay, moving on to my uh, TBR shelf. So this is the shelf that's above the fireplace. Um, these books do move around as I go. Uh, we have Saga Volume 5, Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers, Call Me By Your Name by Andre Ackerman, Truth Witch by Susan Denard, Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert, Docile by K.M. Spara, Camp by L.C. Rawson, They Both Die at the End by uh, Adam Silvera, Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Osman, Camp Milla by Joseph Shridin Lafanu, I'm sorry about that. And One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Okay, now we're moving on to the bookshelf that is to the right of my TBR shelf. Um, on the top shelf here, we have a uh, kind of a menagerie of different books. There's really not a specific um, organization method to it. Um, so we have the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Lord of the Rings, uh, Two Towers, the Fellowship of the Ring, and the Return of the King. And we also have Token. Uh, then we have some school books. I'll go ahead and take out some of them. So we have Domestic Violence by Evan Belend, The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, The Awakening by Kate Chop Chopin, In Our Time by Ernest Hemingway, 1984 by George Orwell, Antigone by Jean Enou, Perfume by Patrick Suskind, Love Medicine by Louise Erdick, The Great Escape by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Hamlet by William Shakespeare, The Assault by Harry Molish, and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. And then on the rest of this shelf has Nicholas Spark books. So we have The Longest Ride, The Lucky Ones, Safe Haven, Nights in Rodante, The Wedding, The Choice, Two by Two, The Best of Me, 
And then in this kind of pile that I was, I just kind of try and stack as much as possible. We have the last song, Dear John, A Bend in the Road, The Notebook, At First Sight, The Guardian, True Believer, Message in a Bottle, The Rescue, and A Walk to Remember. Don't mind the uh, work on it. Okay, so shelf number two of this bookshelf, again, has kind of a, a mix of different books. Um, some of these are middle grade, some of these are just some other random books. We have Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien. We have another Shakespeare book, Macbeth, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Then we have two books from the Aragon series, Aragon and Eldest, The Enemy by Higginson, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Then we have the um, Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. And then we have the Kingdom Keepers series. So we have the Kingdom Keepers, Kingdom Keepers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That was easy. And then um, and these aren't really worth mentioning, but they're just a couple like field guide books and other types of books that um, I've had ever since I was a little kid. Okay, on to shelf number three. So this shelf is kind of organized. Um, I've, I've just started recently organizing it. Uh, it has some horror, some dystopian, some sci-fi. Um, kind of a menagerie, but I do have them relatively organized in those ways. So we have Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Midnight at the Bright Ideas Bookstore by Matthew Sullivan. We have The Similars by Rebecca Hanover and The Pretenders by Rebecca Hanover, so that's part of a duology. Five Total Strangers by Natalie D. Richards. We have Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Nosferatu by Joe Hill, which I definitely plan on getting more of his books. The Haunting of Blackwood House by Darcy Coates. Fever Dream by Samantha, Samantha Schweblin. Nexus by Ram, Ramiz Nam. The Ruthless Lady Guides Wizardry by C.M. Wagner. Then we have The Fever King and the Electric Air, which is part of a duology by Victoria Lee. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Yana and then kind of like tucked away in the corner here, we have Battle Royale by Hushin Takahami and The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. Uh, the reason why I have those two separated is because they are part of the Burned Books Club that I am a uh, part of. Okay, on to shelf number four. Don't mind the dying plant right there. Um, so, shelf number four is kind of empty because I've been slowly um, incorporating books into it. Um, so the first part is these two books, which is um, from the book of the month that I started getting. I have quite a few of them in my hauled books shelf, as you saw. But the ones that I have finished reading that I have on the shelf currently is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna and The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. And then to the right of the bookshelf we have a, a bunch of contemporaries and romances. Uh, so there is Dear Evan Hansen by Emic, What If It's Us by Al Albertalli and Silvera, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Albertalli, Tell, Tell the World I'm Home by Carol, Carol Rifka Runt, so Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed, and A Full Love Story by Foley. Okay, and finally, we have the fifth shelf. The reason why the angle is a little weird is because I am actually currently on the floor to try and record this. Um, so, don't mind the stack of books right there. I'll tell you in a second. Um, in this back corner, if you could just barely see it, um, I have a few nonfiction books, um, not that many of them. I have Bad Blood by John K Kiryu, uh, The Tudors by J.G. G.J. Mayer, and Foundation by Peter Ackroyd. And then we just have a few books down here. We have The Fifth Wave Trilogy by Rick Yancey, so The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star. And then I have the Pitticus Lore series, both, uh, both sets. So I have the I Am Number Four, Power of Six, The Rise of Nine, The Fall of Five, The Revenge of Seven, The Fate of Ten, United as One, and then I have The Legacy Chronicles, Out of the Shadows, which is a few short stories, and then the start of the next series that he had started, which is Generation One, Fugitive Six, and Return to Zero. So the books that are kind of piled here on the floor um, originally were on a shelf that I had previously just taken off. So they're kind of just chilling right here, but um, most of them are Dan Brown books that I own. So I have Dan Brown Deception Point, uh, Digital Fortress, Angels and Demons, The Lost Symbol, and The Da Vinci Code. 
And I also have The Wind in the Willows, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator by Roald Dahl. Uh, we have Dress Your Family in Cordery and Denim by David Sedaris, the body, the body of David Hayes by Ridley Pearson, and The Black Box by Michael Connelly. Okay, on to the second shelf to the right of my fireplace section. Uh, we have a very, very large list of um, Agatha Christie books. Uh, so going from left to right, we have a pocket of a pocket full of rye, Halloween party, Partners in Crime, Murder on the Orient Express, The Mirror Cracked, Thirteen Clues of Miss Marple, A Holiday for Murder, The Secret Anniversary, Murder on the Links, Winters for the Prosecution, and then there were one. They came to Baghdad, Crooked House, Points. Points loses a client, oh, Py Pyrot loses a client, The Body in the Library, Murder at Hazelmore, The Murder at the Vicarage, uh, one that I can't even tell you the title of because it's completely gone. Then we have The Rose and the Yew Tree, Nemesis, Easy to Kill, The ABC Murders, The Hollow, There is a Tide, don't mind Mickey and Donald right there. Uh, the Mysterious Affair at Styles, The Golden Ball, So Many so many Steps to Death, Sparkle, The Sparkling Cyanide, Mysteries 2, 13 for Luck, Sleeping Murder, Curtain, The Moving Finger, Murder in Mesopotamia, The Murder of Roger Ackwood, Murder in 3X, Appointment with Death, Towards Zero, and Murder with Mirrors. And then we have a, a few random books back here. Again, don't mind the little peanut creatures. We have The Association by Bentley Little, The Nameless Dead by Paul Johnston, Maps of Hell and The Death List, also by Paul Johnston. Okay, shelf number two in this bookshelf, a bunch of paperbacks by Dean Coons. We have Icebound, Dark Rivers of the Heart, Winter Moon, The Eyes of Darkness, The Key to Midnight, Shadow Fires, Tick Tock, Twilight Eyes, Lightning, The Mask, Dragon Tears, From the Corner of your of Her Eye, Mr. Murder, The Door to December, uh, Odd Apocalypse, which is one of the Odd Thomas books. Um, actually, I'm going to go over here real quick. We have What the Night Knows, 77 Shadow Street, Book 1 of the Frankenstein books. We have Prodigal Sun, Book 2, City of Night, and Book 3, Dead and Alive, Darren Shane series. Um, I have all of the books. So we have book one, Zombie, book two, Underground, book three, City, book four, Angels, book five, Baby, book six, Gladiator, book seven, Mission, book eight, Clans, book nine, Family, book 10, Bride, book 11, Fugitive, and book 12, Goddess. Okay, and then we have shelf number three, which has a bunch of hardcovers by Dean Coons. We have One Door Away From Heaven, The Face, Intensity, The Talking, False Memory, we have the Odd, Tho Odd Thomas series, Odd Thomas, Forever Odd, Odd Hours, and St. Odd and Brother Odd. And then we have Seize the Night, Life Expectancy, Velocity, Breathless, The Good Guy, Strange Highways, Soul Survivor, The, Mish the Vision, By the Light of the Moon, Fear Nothing, The Husband, The Darkest Evening of the Year, and Funhouse. Okay, on to shelf number four. So uh, a few of these books. It's kind of an empty, emptier shelf, but it has a few... Dean Kuhn books and it also has a few James Patterson books. So we have Relentless, Innocence, Your Heart Belongs to Me, all by, by Dean Kuhn's. And then we have Honeymoon, Second Honeymoon, Private, Private, Number One Suspect, NYPD Red, NYPD Red 3. No, I do not know where NYPD 2 is. And then we have a few softcover books by James Patterson. We have Witch and Wizard, which uh, the Witch and Wizard series W and G, I believe uh, what W was Wizard and G is the gift. And then we have Private London, Private Games, Private LA, and Private Berlin. And then again, sorry for the rant, for the weird angle, but we have the last shelf on the bottom here. Um, all of them are James Patterson books. So we have Mistress, Zoo, and then we have a bunch of Alex Cross books. I believe they are in order. Uh, so we have Along Came a Spider, Kiss the Girl, Jack and Jill, Cat and Mouse, Pop Goes the Weasel, Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue, Four Blind Mice, The Big Bad Wolf, London Bridges, Mary Mary, Cross, Double Cross, Cross Country, Alex Cross's Trial, 
I, Alex Cross. Crossfire, Kill Alex Cross, Merry Christmas Alex Cross, Alex Cross Run, and Hope to Die. And finally we have the last shelf, which is the manga shelf. On the top here I have the whole collection of Tokyo Ghoul in a box set, and then I have the full collection of Akira by Katsui Atomo, um, and it's actually a special edition, uh, I, I believe it was the 50th anniversary box. So the shelf on the top is every single Naruto and Naruto Shippuden novel, uh, 1 through 72. <laughs> I also have the secret, uh, the seventh Hokage and the secret spring. And then I also have two volumes of Boruto. And then I have the light novel of Your Name by Makato Shinkai. Uh, then on shelf two, we have the full collection of Death Note. Uh, I have one through, volumes one through 11 of Tokyo Ghoul Ray. I have a few others I still have to get. I have both volumes of Orange, although I know that there's one other uh, Orange novel that I still have to get. I have one volume one of number six, volume one of Black Butler, seeing if I want to continue that series. I have volumes one through ten of The Promised Neverland. Again, I want to get more of those at some point. And then we have shelf number three. So on shelf number three, I have Hitor Hitorima, My Hero, volumes one through ten. Uh, there is Hot Heartstopper Volumes 2 and 3, One Punch Man Volumes 1 and 2, Battle Royale Angel's Border, and then I have Volumes 1 through 4 of Monster, there are a few others I still have to get, and then I have my Junji Ito novels, I have Tomi, Uzumaki, Gyo, Smash, Shiver, and Frankenstein. And then finally on the bottom shelf here I have uh, Stephen King's The Dark Tower Graphic Novel 1, The Gunslinger. I have Avengers vs. X-Men, it's coming. Uh, I don't know why I have that to be honest, but hey, I do. I have Saga Volumes 1 through 4, and then I have One Piece Volumes 1 through 24, and I might actually start to pick that back up again. Okay, so that does it for my library tour. Um, there are a few books kind of scattered. I have a few books downstairs, um, and a few other books that are kind of classic books. Um, I actually will kind of do a little bit of an update for this video once I have my classic books um, section of the library finished because I didn't actually go over any of the classic stories that I have, um, like the Harry Potter and then a bunch of other um, classics like Jane Eyre and William Shakespeare and that. So um, I'll go ahead and, and link that video once I have it set up. Um, but yeah, thank you. and. Please like and subscribe, and if you would like to know more about why I chose certain authors and why I have it set up, um, please ask me in the comments and I would gladly like to answer that. Okay, thank you.